Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. New videos every week, Motivational Mondays, Weird Wednesdays, and of course, your Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness. So if you don't want to miss out on any of it, you better click subscribe and check that notification box and check my channel every week for new videos. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. Make sure to take time and leave me a comment if for no other reason then I don't know what I would do if I didn't exist in an echo chamber of hate mail. However, we're going to be making it weird because on this Weird Wednesday video, we're going to be talking about the mythology of hunting. Now you see, in my opinion, hunting is something that we do as human beings because it is part of our humanity. Whether we hunt for food or sport, it is irrelevant. The animal is still just as dead. Whether we take a trophy or simply take the meat, the animal is still just as dead. It is my opinion that hunting is an act of nature worship. There is a ritual to the hunt. There is a chase to the hunt. And quite frankly, I hunt for thrill of the chase. It's as simple as that. It's up to you, the hunter, to ensure that you are hunting under ethical circumstances. I don't get to tell you how to live, nor is it my right to tell you how to live. And if hunting isn't for you, that's fine. I'm not here to convert you. But it is my opinion that we do certain things as human beings. There is a theory out there as espoused in a book by Joseph Campbell called The Power of Myth. That theory is the monomyth theory. You see this bowstring here. It has many multiple threads. So there are common threads that are woven throughout humanity that weave into this one great rope just like that bowstring. And the monomyth theory states that there are certain archetypes and themes that throughout all human cultures, there are these common threads, such as the hero, the villain, the villain's agent, the anti-hero, the messenger, so on and so forth, rites of passage, rites of proving, all these things go into the common human mythos. Now you see, while I am a cradle Catholic, and I am far from a good Catholic, the fact is, no blasphemy intended here, hunting is an act of nature worship. There are rituals involved. We try and learn the catechism of these animals. We try and please these animals to be able to court their favor. And the fact is, even in modern Christian homes, we say grace before a meal to honor the Creator and the life of the animal that we're about to consume. However, I'm not ignorant of the fact that grocery stores exist. So I'm not going to claim to you that I hunt because I want to live off of the meat that I harvest. I eat the meat that I harvest when I do, but if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've accumulated a relationship with the internet of being the worst deer hunter ever. Now, I have done things in hunting on film that I am not particularly proud of, and I have been crucified for it because of the way that I have killed animals in the past and I honestly do regret it, but I can't change what happened. And it has very much skewed my moral compass because of what I have learned through my past mistakes as a hunter about my hunting ethics of what to do and what to significantly avoid. And so my goal as a hunter is to be as close and intimate with my prey as I possibly can and to give them a fair chase. Because let's be honest and real. These animals live in a world just like us 
that is constantly trying to kill us. And simply because we don't live in caves anymore and fire doesn't make the bad things go away didn't change the way the world actually works. From the time that an animal drops out of its mother, there is something that is perfectly willing and potentially able to eat it. Because we take part in the chase, I don't feel makes us any less of a predator. But the animal deserves our respect, and we worship things that we do not understand. When we walk into a church or a cathedral, we see anthropomorphized images of the saints, Jesus, God, and so on, or in any other temple. It's not that different than the anthropomorphized spiritual images in temple cave paintings of megafauna animals. The simple fact is that I believe that hunting, whether we do it for sport, whether it is a rite of passage, or whether we do it for food, is an act of nature worship, and it is a religion. At least that's my humble opinion. And if you want to check my references, I urge you to check out The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. Now, if you sound a little bit familiar to the name of Joseph Campbell, that is because he pretty much co-wrote Star Wars, which is why Star Wars is such a successful franchise, because it is a hero's journey across the stars, very similar to a Greek epic story. However, with all of that being said, hunting is a religion unto itself. Killing an animal is very much like animal sacrifice. And it is important that we honor the animal that we kill. It is important that we do it in ethical ways. And it is important that we respect those who do not share our religion as hunters. While I'm at it, these are common threads that go through all cultures. The power of myth is a great and astonishing power. And the monomyth theory states that there is one common mythos that is transverse across the entire human experience. And that is why no matter where you go or what you do, things will speak to you. That is why people of all races and all nationalities, when presented with the opportunity to experience the mystical worship of the hunt, if they are so inclined, then it will speak to them. We're doing this video out in the woods right now, sitting on a tree stand, because this is where it's at. No blasphemy intended. As I stated, I am a cradle Catholic, but in all honesty, being a Catholic is somewhat like being pagan light. But, to hunt down and kill an animal is a time-honored rite of passage. But because it is a rite of passage, we need to follow moral and ethical restrictions while abiding the laws of our lands in order to do the ritual with honor. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And when in doubt, make it weird. As always, God bless all my sports center of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at SOETactweird.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching. Thanks for grabbing your outdoors.